before you can start your clay project, we are going to make a pattern or a template um, to show what our sides are going to look like. When we go to do this, our sides can be no taller than three inches. So I'm going to measure down on the ruler, three inches, when my paper is long ways, and then draw a line straight across the paper. That paper is 12 inches long. I'm going to put a tally mark at the three, at the six, and at the nine. That's going to give me four three by three inch sections. And then I draw my lines straight up and down for my sides. The sides and the bottom of my sides need to be square or flat in order for this to work. Then I draw a base. My base needs to be larger than three by three because these four sides are going to sit on top of it. And after the clay has been cut, it's going to have a little bit of thickness to it, about a half an inch. That will not fit on here. So I mash that up. This is my base. I can draw whatever shape I want my base to sit on. Those four sides will sit on top of this. Then I go to the top and I'm going to abstract the top. I can do whatever I want to the top of mine, kind of like the hair for my project. Once that's done, I can start to add my faces in. So I have papers at my table. These are just to give you ideas for different eye shapes, noses, mouths. You can use them. You don't have to use them. You can have a theme for your project. You don't have to. It could be totally random, totally weird. So if I go through here, I can make my eye. Great. I want to do something realistic. That's fine too. After I have all four sides just um, figured out, I'm going to cut along this outside edge of my base and then I'm going to cut along the top of my hair and then the sides. So what's going to happen is when we get our clay, we will lay this on top of the clay and then trace exactly what it is out, kind of like a cookie cutter. And then we have our four sides already made for us. So I will lay this on top of the clay and then trace around it. After I have all four sides cut out and my base cut out, they all need to go inside my Ziploc baggie. I write my name and team on the Ziploc baggie with a Sharpie marker and it goes in my cabinet on my shelf.